after your touchdown? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people reached out to me, which was really awesome. Yeah, uh, just what did that feel like? I know it's a very yeah, low uh, hanging fruit question, but what did that feel like uh, getting your first touchdown? Yeah, it felt good. I mean, I haven't really scored a meaningful touchdown in about five years since high school, so it felt good to get to the end zone. And you're playing a lot. I mean, it was your first touchdown, but just getting on the field as much as you are this year, that has to feel good as well, Jake. Yeah, it's a good confidence booster for me. What do you think yeah. are the things that you did this offseason that set you up for this opportunity where you are playing a lot more than you have in the past? Uh, just working on, you know, speed and strength, keeping the diet consistent, you know, just getting in the film room, doing all the things you need to do. Did you help? Go ahead. How much do you guys enjoy this offense where you have multiple tight ends on the field a lot and you and Jeremy and Luke and Rashad all get to play a lot? It's really awesome, you know, going into the game, you you know that you have three other guys that can come in and do a, a, a good job. You uh, you can really go in and just give it a, give it your all because you know you got guys behind you that can come in and, and fill in for you. Jake, um, how difficult is it as an athlete to appreciate the atmosphere that is going to be there on Saturday and yet stay focused on doing your 111? Yeah, I think with that, you know, you kind of just got to stay focused on the job at hand. You know, and kind of just to go out there, do the best job you can. Help the team win. Does that does that mean though that you can't enjoy the crowd being extra loud, the extra TV cameras? I mean, do you have to tune all of that out, or can you enjoy it at all? Um, I mean, then senior uh, day too. I mean, there's going to be a lot of emotions. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things going on. I think you got to make the priority is winning the game. Right. I think you know you can't really get caught up in too much. I mean, obviously you can enjoy the crowd, people going crazy out there, but. I think you gotta kind of just stay focused. Jake, you talked about confidence earlier. Compared to two years ago, maybe what's the biggest difference in your game? What's allowed you to, to see the field so much? I think it's just been being consistent. You know, uh, coming in and practicing every day. You gotta you gotta bring it and be consistent. You gotta have the coaches see that. So I think it's a big thing for me. I would think in practice there have been times when you've gone one on one with Chase Young. Am I wrong? Yeah, plenty of times. What sets him apart? His explosiveness. Um, his IQ for the game, you know, he's a huge athlete. You can do a lot of things that a lot of smaller athletes can't do with him being 6'6", 260, whatever he is. So I think that him just being so big and athletic just really kind of separates him. Do you, do you sense he's champing at the bit about his return this week? I mean, how would you describe it, Jake? You've been in practice. Yeah, I mean, I don't think too much has changed in his approach. He's always kind of come in and been that dominant player, so I think he might have a little bit extra chip on his shoulder this week. Some of his teammates on the offensive side of the ball describe him as a goofball. Do you? Yeah. I mean, as an offensive player, do you ever get to see that side of him? He likes to play around, but when the times come, when time comes to you know get to work, he's he's a really focused player. So can you give us yeah. an example of him playing around? Like what kind of stuff? Does um, he but do? just between periods, you know, he'll he'll joke around with Justin or any other players, you know. How much does that help you prepare to block in a game when in practice you're going against Chase Young and all the other defensive linemen here? Yeah, I mean, for the past four years, I've been going against first rounders and, you know, a lot of really good defensive ends. And, you know, it, it just gives you a confidence boost knowing that you've gone against these really special DNs and a lot of other special guys on defense. How pivotal do you feel like the tight ends have been in the success that you guys have had in the running game this year? I think we've been a really big part of it. You know, we're at the point of attack a lot. Uh, a lot of the blocks we have are pretty crucial. So I think if we can do a good job blocking, then our team's going to have pretty good success. What's, What's, the the for, go ahead. Uh, what's it like playing for uh, Kevin Wilson? We get to talk to him, he seems like he can be pretty serious, but also kind of goofy at times. What's it like playing for Coach Wilson? It's awesome. He's, you know, like you said, he's an intense guy, but he likes to joke around and goof. So, um, you know, when it comes time to work, he's serious, but, you know, in the meeting room and then any other time, just kind of around the facility, he likes to mess around. So it's, it's, it's a good mix. Yeah, and there, are, there aren't many teams that play four tight ends you know, in, in, in the mix, so to speak. What does that just tell you about if you get your job done with him, you, you get in the game? I mean, what has that proven to you, I guess, Jake? Um, I, I mean, it just kind of is a testament to how hard we work in the tight end room. A lot of us are really capable of going out there and doing a good job. So I think if all of us can just go out and and play the best of our ability, and we're able to rotate, and it's a good deal for the whole team. And the other thing you kind of touched on this ago, the difference between Chase Young and Nick Bosa is what? I don't know if there's too much of a difference between them. I mean, they're both really explosive players. I think each of them have a niche, what they're good at. I mean, yeah, like they're Chase, obviously yeah. really good players in their own right, but um, 
you know, you'd, I think you'd have to ask them. Chase's niche, so you've gone against him. I mean, Chase's niche, what is his niche? It sets him apart. I mean, we talked about it a minute ago. But. He's just so explosive. I mean, the things that he can do at his size is, is kind of phenomenal. You don't really see it that, that often. Getting Talk about that. the Penn State defense. What's, what sets them apart? What do you guys see? They're really well coached. Um, they're tough. They fly to the ball. Uh, they know what they're doing. They get their assignments done. So it's going to be our biggest uh, matchup this, this season. Getting that first touchdown on Saturday, was there a time where you wondered if that was ever going to come for you here? No. I, uh, you know, I kind of always envisioned myself scoring. So. How do you build off that? What's kind of, how do you get yourself in more positions to catch more touchdowns? I think it just comes down to being consistent in practice. You know, I think a lot of the confidence a quarterback has in a tight end, you just got to prove that you can catch the ball and get open in practice. So that's what I've been trying to do. How did that play sort of unfold? I mean, do you, as it's happening, are you, does the thought pop in your head like, here it is, or does it kind of over before it starts? And the touchdown you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's kind of play dependent. You have a good idea of the play if you're the main target or not. So it's in the back of your head for sure. But I mean, with every pass play, you got to be ready to, to make a play. Did you do anything extra to celebrate <laughs> your role in the, in the victory against Rutgers? I mean, because I, I get the sense that as much as you wanted a touchdown, that you also would have been content with a career where you made the impact that you've made yeah. without that. So was, was there a little extra celebration or no after the game? Um, you know, it was. Not so much. I mean, we got on the plane, got home, went to bed, and got up and got to work the next day. Um, you know, it was awesome just having all my friends and family reach out to me, though.